Hi, in this video we are going to look at how Stevie Wonder uses one of the most ever-present chord progressions found in music in such a unique way without ever coming close to sounding hackneyed. The chord progression we are talking about and listening to is chord 1 to 1 7 to 4 and beyond but normally minor. Let's not delay any further and now enter into Stevie Wonder's wonderful world to see how he uses this 1 to 4 progression so masterfully. Prerequisite In order to get the best out of this video and avoid confusion, it is recommended to understand the construction of the 1 to 4 chord movements in the following keys C, B flat, G, G flat, B flat and E flat. Example 1 Evil from Music of My Mind, 1972. Evil, why have you engulfed so many hearts? Evil. This example for us is conveniently in C major. So the C major triad becomes a C major 7, then it goes to C7. This in turn becomes the 5-7 dominant of F major 4 chord. But Stevie has not modulated. This is just a move to the 4 major chord in C major. Let's stop for a New York minute to explain the enormity of what was just said. The harmonic move to F major via its dominant C7 in the key of C is not a modulation as the F does not become the home, root or tonic chord as its duration is just too short for it to become established in the ear as the new tonic. For instance, if I go to France for the day, see the Eiffel Tower and enjoy some runny cheese and fine wine, I do not suddenly become French. I have simply gone on a small trip and then after a short period of time return to Old Blighty, slang for Britain. The chord after this 4 major chord is 4 minor. The beautiful 4 minor is so essential to know and love as it is so emotive and widely used. Eva, why have you engulfed so many hearts? Eva. Notice the elegant line in the harmony. These kind of guide tone lines can be a major clue to where the harmony is, if we can recognize and hear them. Example 2, Please Don't Go, 1974 from Fulfillingness, First Finale. Very similar to the first example, but in G major. So in G major, chord 1, then chord 1 major 7, then 1 7, also known as 5 7 of 4, to 4 to flat 7 7. So this time after the chord 4 we hear flat 7 7, which is a substitute for 4 minor. Both of these are backdoor chords. See this video if you would like to discover more about this emotional, soulful cadence. Example 3, Happier Than The Morning Sun, 1972, from Music Of My Mind. The same progression again, this time though in F major. I'm happier than the morning sun And that's the way you said that it would be If I should ever so chord 1, chord 1, 7, chord 4, and then flat 7, 7. In this case, in F, F to F7, B flat, and then E flat 7. That goes back to the tonic. Example 4, Lighting Up the Candles, 
1991 from Jungle Fever. I'm sorry to say that I've cut this sample in two, otherwise the video might get removed for copyright reasons. So again, the same chord structure, this time in B-flat major, with B-flat pedal bass, knitting the whole thing together. So it was chord 1, B-flat major 7, then chord 4, E-flat. So that was chord 4 to chord 4 minor, back to chord 1. Example 5, I Believe When I Fall In Love, 1972, Talking Book. This is an E-flat and is slightly different. Shattered dreams, worthless years, here am I encased inside a hollow shell. This time there was no 4 major, Stevie went straight to the 4 minor, A flat minor. Example 6, he's Mr. Know-It-All from the colossal 1974 Inner Visions album. This is in the key of F sharp. Chord 4 is B and 4 minor is B minor. He's a man with a plan Got a counterfeit dollar in his hand Example 7, As, from Songs in the Key of Life, 1976. The excerpt here is short but tremendously effective and soulful. The key is B. B major 7, B7, seven, E major 7. As around the sun, the earth no seeks revolving. And the rosebuds know the bloom in early May. Eternal gratitude to Stevie Wonder. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, click the like button and the alert bell to be notified of new uploads. Also, if you wish to directly support and nurture the creation of similar presentations in the future, please visit the Jazz Duets Patreon page. See you next time.